Hi, in this video, I want to be showing you several free dictation software that you can use uh, to speed up your voice typing or just speed up your workflow when it comes down to um, putting text on a digital paper. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Suite, and let's get started. So well, those of you are probably wondering why is this important and what's the value of this? Well, let me tell you real quick. Um, I've purchased software, paid uh, dictation software, where you, where you speak and they transcribe what you speak and this was one of the softwares not not this exact one I used uh, I think v7 and that time at that time it was about 80 bucks now it's around two hundred dollars and it works okay but you had to train it it I mean this 99 percent rec recognition accuracy was after you trained it that, this is what they failed to mention <laughs> And it was just, uh, you had to install the software. It, it took a lot of time and it was just a hassle to use. So after uh, purchasing the V7 version of this for around $80, I, I stopped using it because it was just so painful. Um, since then I decided, well, I mean, it has to be a better way that I can, I can do this. I can transcribe my, my uh, spoken narration into text that, that's cheap and accurate. So then I looked around and what I found are the two best free dictation softwares that you can find. So the very first one I found that was amazing and it used AI was Otter. And I'll leave a link in the description uh, below. It uses AI software to kind of differentiate what you're, what you're saying and transcribe it. So let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like in the dashboard real quick. And the, the free account is actually pretty decent. So... Um, when you sign up, you get about I'm not, you get a certain amount of minutes. Uh, I'm not sure, but I remember it was being ample for what I what I needed. Like a lot of free programs that you you sign up for, it's like fake free, what I like to call. It's like maybe just to, enough to give you a small taste of what it can do, and that's it. This is actually functional free. So when you sign up, um, for me, I got I get most of whatever I need to be need to do. Um, when it comes in my transcription needs through the free account so th once you sign up you go ahead and you if you want to start recording or transcribing your, your speech you just click on re uh, record so you have to give a it permission it's gonna gonna say auto AI is asking you to use your microphone I'm gonna allow that obviously if, with, without the microphone permission it can't transcribe what I'm saying and I just talk normally. I don't have to slow down what I'm saying. I don't have to slow down and speak like I'm talking to someone who doesn't understand English very well. I just speak at normal speed and it just goes ahead and transcribes everything. Now there are downsides to this, which I will get to very quickly. The positive side of using Otter AI when it comes down to transcription is number one, it's accuracy. It's accuracy is very, very good. Um, with that being said, the downside to using this software is that it's hard to make punctuation corrections while recording at the same time. So that that's the the other downs. That's the only downside I find to using Auto AI. But for transcription purposes, it's amazing. So you can use this to transcribe not just your text, but uh, if you play around with it, you can also play back a video and kind of use your microphone to listen to what your speaker is playing and use this to transcribe that. So it's it's a very, very functional and very accurate transcription software that's all for free, functional free. And I highly recommend any of you or anyone who has to transcribe anything or heck, anyone who has to do a lot of typing, who has to write a lot of documents, do presentations, if you're a student, who have to write like that one, dreaded 1,500 word essay or article, why not work smarter instead of, instead of harder and just speak whatever you want to say, just kind of let it all out and put it down to um, put your, all your thoughts out and then have a, a, a first draft, a really, really rough first draft and you can just go ahead and use other AI tools if you want to speed up the process to kind of clean it up. You can use Grammarly or you can use Quillbot or you can use a whole variety of AIs to uh, kind of um, refine your first draft. So this is the, the best starting point. Obviously, if you want to just get your ideas down and you just want to have someone type what you're saying, here it is. So after I'm done, I just click on pause, sorry, stop. 
and it's going to go ahead and transcribe everything I say. And it says note is processing. Now the other great thing about this software is that it's all completely online. Right? So you don't have to um, download anything. You don't have to worry about whether it has uh, compatibility issues with Mac or you know uh, Windows or you know as long as you have a uh, a functional internet connection and a suitable browser, this this can work on your uh, on your your computer. So that's the other um, plus side. So I'll leave a link below for those of you who are interested. And using Otter AI, so that this is probably my go-to number one go-to voice dictation software that's free. The second one that's that's decent, and it, that's also pretty good is uh, Google Docs, right? So uh, some people may not be aware of it, but Google Docs have voice typing, and th this is this 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 the positive of using Google Docs is that it has something called function you can you can do editing while you're doing your voice typing and that's very powerful so let me show you how uh, you can go ahead and do the voice typing real quick uh, let me go into tools and then you go down and let me see voice typing right right here and then all you have to do is you click on this uh, little icon right here and it will start recording everything you say so I click on it I give it permission to use my microphone, and then I just speak like normal. Hello, this is uh, type. This is the test of the Google Voice Doc. Hello, this is the test of the Google Voice Doc. Oh, sorry. Real quick, it's not it's not compatible with certain browsers. Um, that's the kicker. I'm using Brave Browser, and because of my security settings, it's not allowing me to use the voice typing feature. Now, now that I remember this, but it works. Let me let me just tell you what it, what it, how it works. Accuracy, it's not as good as Otter AI. It gets some words wrong. However, you can do you can add punctuation marks, you can add commas, periods, and still continue vo to. Uh, do voice dictation, which is quite powerful if you want to kind of have a cleaner first draft uh, when when you do your voice typing. I think both pow both software are very powerful, but when it comes down to writing something more focused, for example, if I have to write something where uh, I'm you know I want it to be more clean, I want it to be uh, to have decent punctuation, and I want it to edit it while I'm I'm typing while I'm speaking or control when I'm when and when I, I, I record what I say then I would say Google Docs is, is the way to go because you can you can toggle the on off switch right here quite easily you can make corrections on the fly while you while you do your voice dictation um, and it's also integrated with the the Google Eagle system so you can you can basically go from Google Docs to ex, uh, Google Sheets and Google uh, slides quite easily uh, that's a bit difficult with with Otter AI but if you want pure accuracy uh, if, if accuracy let's say you're you're kind of taking notes for class uh, important notes for a meeting um, you're taking video notes or you're studying online and accuracy is key I would I would go with Otter I would definitely go with Otter Otter AI because out of the two, Otter AI is, is the AI is focused on is, is really what helps out the accuracy in the voice uh, dictation with the voice dictation software. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Menace Two. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.